Hello friends, so today in this video we are going to solve 20 Java theory MCQs. So the level of these MCQs is very basic. If you are new to Java or you are preparing for any kind of exam or interviews, this video might help you. So this is our first question. Over here, suppose a class is named car. Okay, where will be the Java source code? Will it be present in car.java or car.class? So the answer over here is, if we are having a class named car, so the Java source code will be present in cars.java. Let's see the next question. What among the following should be the first statement of a class? Import statement, packet statement, class declaration or variables. So this is again a very basic question in Java. That whenever we start writing a code in Java, the first statement should be the packet statement. The first statement should define the class which we are writing will be present in which, you know, package inside Java code. So let's hop to the next question. Oh, great. We have a fun fact about Java. Each object has its own copy of instance variable. Hence, we use this dot variable name. Whenever we write Java code, multiple times we use the keyword this dot variable name. This tells us that every object has a different instance variable. Let's hop on to the next question. Okay. Can we define multiple packages in one single class? Okay, whenever we write a Java code, can we write multiple package statements? The answer is false. A single class that we are writing can only belong to a single package. Let's hop to the next question. How to add multi-line comments in Java? Okay, so if you are familiar with Java coding, this will be a very simple question for you. Over here, we have four options. So whenever we have to, you know, add a single line comment in Java, we can go with this. Okay, but we are talking here about multi-line comments in Java. So the answer is A. We can add multiple line comments in Java by using this style. We can, you know, replace this dotted lines by the comments you want to write. Let's hop on to the next question. Okay. So what can precede a packet statement? Whenever we write a code in Java, what can we, you know, write before writing the package statement? Import? No, we cannot, you know, import before, we cannot import packages before the package statement. Uh, a packet statement? No, we have seen previously in one single class or Java code, only one packet statement can be there. Class declaration? No. First we have, first comes the package, then comes the imports, then we start writing the class declaration. So this is the how the sequence goes. So no, we cannot write import, we cannot write another package statement, we cannot declare a class. So the answer is D. We can add a comment after, you know, writing the package statements. Let's hop on to the next question. Okay, so let's see which among them is not true. So over here we have given four options and we have to say which among them is not true. Over here this question is about the main method. So option A is the main method must be marked as public method. The main method must be marked as a static method. Return type of main method can be, okay, there's a error, this is can be int. And the name of the main method should be main. This is true. The name of the main method should be main. And again, A is true or true. The main method should be marked as public. The main method should be marked as static. So over here, the false statement is C. Return type of main method can be int. No, the return type of main method cannot be int. It is supposed to be void. Always remember the main method signature. It is public static void main. Okay, so the return type cannot be int. 
so d is not the answer b is not the answer and a is again not the answer the answer over here is c return type of main method can be int this is false let's hop on to the next question is following statement valid again i have done a mistake this is valid okay public static void main string dot 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 args normally whenever we write code we see a square bracket over here okay so can we replace this square bracket with this think about it this three dot are called ellipses and uh, ellipses can be used in place of square brackets so the answer over here is true the above way of writing the main method in java is valid we can write this way let's hop on to the next question okay so over here we have two following both statements are equivalent we can see over here we are given two signatures of main method are these same so public static void main string args static public void main string args so this is something we have seen okay normally this is what we write in the code so over here you can see that the position of public and static have been interchanged so is this true are these both equal so answer is a true yes we can change the way uh, you know we can change public and static among each other but remaining has to be same this section has to remain same we can change the positions of public and static so the answer is a true both of the statements are equivalent let's hop on to the next question okay can main method accept two dimensional arrays public static void main you are providing or oh, um, sorry we are providing two dimensional arrays over here so normally whenever we write a code we only create a one dimensional array you know which uh, takes the parameters from command line so answer over here is false okay this method will run but it won't be considered as a main method in the signature main method whenever we write in java code we only accept a single dimensional array so whenever we write such code this is considered as an overload method and this is not considered as the main method so without further ado let's hop on to the next okay so over here we have something related to java classes so let's read the question which among the following is automatically imported in on java classes we have three options over here java.lang java.sql java dot util so the answer over here is a java dot lang is something which is implicitly you know imported in all the java classes you need not mention it like import java dot util dot star or something related to it but when it comes to other packages yes you have to explicitly import them so without further ado let's hop on to the next question okay which among the following will import full package java dot util so whenever i am writing my code what you know import statement should be returned like if i have to you know import the full package java dot util over here i have four options java dot util dot star or asterisk java dot util dot java dot util dot hash and java dot util and a double dot so the answer over here is a whenever we want to you know import full package we have to write the package name and a dot and a an asterisk mark okay so let's move on to the next question okay we have a fun fact the instance variable are defined within a class but outside all method in a class okay which of the following is not a access modifier in java so over here we have five options we have to select the one which is not a access modifier in java so the options over here which we have are public protected private again public and static so just ignore this so the answer over here is e 
static is not a access modifier in java let's move on to the next question okay so far we have reached 13 questions just after solving seven more questions you will be learning more about java and completing 20 mcqs can we apply access modifier to method parameter and local variable so over here the answer is let's guess the answer is false we cannot apply access modifier to method parameters and local variables in java so which among the following is not an access modifier okay before we had a question about access modifier over here we are talking about non access modifiers so options over here which we have are public abstract final and static so over here the answer is a public is an access modifier otherwise abstract final and static are non access modifiers in java okay so now we are on the 15 question just five more to go can a non abstract class define an abstract method so for example i have a non abstract class i have not defined a class as an abstract class can i write an abstract method inside it the answer is false if we can do such thing there would be no need of abstract classes the whole scene behind defining an, a class to be an abstract class is because we have to write abstract methods inside of it so the answer is false we cannot define an abstract method inside a non abstract class if you're finding my you know way of explaining a bit you know confusing just keep uh, increase the level of your concentration i hope you understand the basic concepts okay so over here we have 16th question is public void display age an abstract method so over here we have seen that we are writing the name of the method and we are initializing it okay opening and closing curly braces means this is the part definition this is initialization okay so whenever we have definition and initialization together the method is not considered to be abstract okay if i remove these curly braces okay if i remove these curly braces if this is my you know if i only define my method then yes it is considered to be an abstract method so if you initialize the method you cannot say it is an abstract method okay so the answer over here is false let's read the question a public class xyz should have same name in java source code file okay if i have a class named as xyz should my java source code file should also be xyz.java so the answer is true the name of the source code file and name of the class should be same the class containing the main method okay so over here we have a fun fact the classes and interfaces can have any order when it comes to defining them whenever you write a java code there is no you know a order in writing classes and interfaces java code will start running wherever it will find the main method okay so over here we have our 18th question which among the following is not a feature in java we have polymorphism we have abstraction we have use of pointers and we have object oriented we are all aware that yes java follows polymorphism abstraction and yes java is ob object oriented the answer over here is c use of pointers is not allowed in java so it is not a feature in java this is our second last question i i i appreciate if you have reached till this part of the video which of the following finds bugs in java programs we have our options as jvm java virtual machine jre java debugger and jdk java development kit so the answer over here is very simple the answer is c 
Java debugger is responsible for finding bugs in Java program. Okay, so this is our last question. Final class cannot extend other classes. If I declare a class to be final, can I extend other classes in it? So the answer is, the answer is false. So guys, if you like the way I have explained my uh, Java MCQs, this is like a demo version. I also have a playlist where I solve 100 Java MCQs and those 100 MCQs are strictly related to interview purposes. So if you are preparing for interviews or placements and if you want to learn more about Java, please check my playlist. It has, uh, sorry, I have 100 C MCQs and I have a playlist for 50 solved Java MCQs. So if you like this video, just I will add the link in description of both the playlists. Please find them useful and all the best for your future. I hope you learned something out of these 20 MCQs. Thank you for watching.